Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I am the Grey Bearded Summoner, and welcome back to Fire Emblem Heroes. Today, we have the banner for the Fallen Heroes of 2022, and I saw the thumbnail, but I didn't read the title, so I don't know who the character is, because it's a blue-haired character I'm not familiar with. So, I'm going to cut my rambling off right now, and let's get right on in to the video. <laughs> Fallen Loath. Foolish humans. Did you really think you could beat me? Fine. Oh, they gave her work? Uh oh. Speed smoke's getting an up. The smokes are getting an up. Yeah! Do you wish to die? Ninian. Who am I? Yes. I am Gustav. My flesh has been reconstructed by the dread power of hell. You must understand. Please. The progenitor god's power, mother's power, must be used to save Fodlin. Oh, Brian's in trouble. <laughs> okay. Firstly, Brian is going to be very disappointed. Oh my word. But let's take a look at the skills. Fallen Lilith. Red Dragon Flyer. Silent Power grants speed plus three. Unit can move to a space within two spaces of a support partner, not the entire team. At start, which means it's useless in computer's hands because they don't have support partners. At start of turn, if the unit is in with three within three spaces of support partner grants no follow-up to unit and that ally for one turn at start of combat if units hp is greater than or equal to 25 percent grants spectrum plus five during combat if foes range is equal to two calculates damage using the lower of foes defense or res 
Attack speed catch 4 and dive bomb are both previous skills, as is Draconic or is a previously used special. Speed, smoke 4. After combat, inflicts speed minus 7 on target and foes. Ooh. Within two spaces of target through their next action, it grants plus 6 and dodge to unit for one turn. Ooh. That's nice. Not gonna lie. I just want to see the animation again. Yeah. That is true. That's that's trippy looking, I won't lie. And then Ninian is a infantry blue dragon. So, with the exception of Gustav, this is an old dragon banner. Interesting. And Ninian has Enveloping Breath, grants res plus three. If Singer Dance is used, inflicts attack res minus seven. And guard on foes in cardinal directions of unit and target through their next actions. At start of combat, if unit's HP is greater than or equal to 25%, grants plus 6 speed and res during combat, and also has the foe's range being greater than 2, and it calculating the damage it, with the lower of defense or res. Call to flame. Dance. Attack plus 6. Special cooldown plus 1 per attack during combat to that ally for one turn only the highest value applies does not stack also if target ally is a dragon target can move one extra space that turn all ooh Ninian would be kind of busted with falling corn fallen female corin or any dragon now that i'm stopping to think about it uh b dual infantry four we've had that before oddball side we've had all of the regular skill her regular skills so that's really interesting though all right now i want to see this animation i am gustav my flesh has been reconstructed by the dread power of hell. Cavalry Axe Unit. Headman's Glitnir. Accelerate special cooldown minus one Slayer effect. At start of combat, if unit's HP is greater than or equal to 25%, attack speed and defense minus five on foe during combat. Grant special cooldown plus one to unit and inflict special cooldown minus one on foe per attack during combat. Only the highest value applied does not stack. And also if foe can counter or if foe initiates combat, unit makes a guaranteed follow-up attack. Wow. Bonfire, attack defense catch four, and attack defense near trace. All of these are skills we've had before. Attack smoke. Four. After combat, minus seven on target and foes within two spaces through their next actions and grants plus six defense and res to unit for one turn. And unit gains foe cannot make a follow up attack for one turn. That's kind of busted. That right there is kind of busted. Not broken, but it is powerful. And then the Lady of the Hour, and I can hear Bee's wallet crying. It's a f hilarious if when you stop to listen. Ruinous Frost, Slayer effect, minus cooldown minus one. If foe initiates combat or if foe has HP greater than or equal to 75% at the start of combat, Grants attack plus 6 to unit, inflicts minus 6 on foe, and unit's first attack deals damage equal to 40% of foe's res during combat, and also both unit and foe cannot make a follow-up attack. Oh, okay. So there's 
almost a wary fighter effect in there. Bracing stance and defense res near safe we've had. True Dragon Wall. If unit's res is greater than foe's res, reduces damage from attacks during combat from area of effects and from area of spe effect specials, except for rockers, by percentage equal to the difference between stats times 6, maximum 60%. For this unit's first combat in player phase and enemy phase, and percentage equal to the difference between their stats times 4, up to 40%. For this unit's second combat or later, if dragon or beast ally is on your team, excluding unit, restores... Whoa! On the plus side, this is not inheritable. It's only Rhea that's ever going to have this. Second, I want to go through see if they can see the GHB. No, doesn't look like that one's there. And I'll be honest, I am gonna go in on this banner. I'm gonna spark on it. Who I'm going for? Rhea, Ninian, and Lilith all look to be very, very strong. Gustav isn't bad in his own right either. I'm just not interested in that character, really. I'm amazed it took us, what, two books later to get Gustav? But other than that, that's this is this right here is what I'm going for, period. I'm, I'm probably going in for Rhea, and if I have to spark her, so be it. But that is about it for me. I hope you have enjoyed. Please feel free to leave a like or subscribe. And until next time, I will see you on the battlefield. Take care.